Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I wanted to do my March roundup uh, because I didn't do it for February because I had just had a baby. You know, she was, you know, a few weeks old and I didn't want to um, deal with it. But anyways, <laughs> I kept pushing it off and then it was, you know, too late. But so for March, I, uh, I got some finished objects. I think I got 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, yeah. Got 12 finished objects and I got some ball bands and I actually did get a bingo without trying again. Um, I do play the yarn bingo. I just don't play it on purpose, if that makes sense. I um, I print out the card and then I make projects and then I see if it goes with the, car the card. <laughs> um, there are, I already printed out the April one. It's in the living room. Um, and there are a few on there that I'm not purposely trying to do just because it's projects I want to make anyways. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah. So, I guess I'll start with bingo. So, here's the March bingo. It's on the back of my February one. So, the ones that I finished was Finish a Whip. And that was uh, Amy Grimia Made. A Luigi one. Create something using three colors. I did that one. I'll talk about the projects here in a minute. And another Finish the Whip. <laughs> the Free Space. Uh, the one about saving your wrappers. I did that. Your yarn bands. Create something for spring or fall. I did that. And make something to donate. I did that. And then another finish the whip. So I got a bingo right through the middle. <laughs> but now let's talk about the projects. So um, you would have already seen these if you follow me <laughs> already. But um, so first I finished a project. Um, a crochet bag. Like a project bag. And I don't have it with me anymore. I already gave it to someone. And I forgot to take a picture of it. <laughs> but it's called the Huntley Gift Bag by Yarn and Chai. And it was a really cool bag. I liked making it a lot. I made it with some Premier Just Yarn from uh, the Dollar Tree. I actually got the ball bands right here. It was light pink and... Where is it? Soft gold. And uh, it was a really nice project. It went by really quick. And it's, I like the way it turned out. And then uh, the second project. I'll pop up a picture now of all of them. Because I took a picture of all of them but that bag. <laughs> I made a soy sauce because I love soy sauce and it was from the book Hooked on Amigurumi by Melanie Morita and I used an e-hook which is a 3.5 millimeter and worsted weight scraps. The scraps is red heart, um, cherry red, white, and black. That was the one that I, I got the make something with three colors <laughs> square. Um, and then next I made another Amigurumi. That was a Bronchosaurus by Michelle Estrada, which is Pixie Marie Crates. She has a Ravelry store, an Etsy shop, and a YouTube channel. And uh, to make it, I used um, a J hook, which is a six millimeter, and I used Premier Serenity Chunky in the colorway. is called Bright Water, and it's a number five bulky. And uh, that was a lot of fun to make. I liked making that, and I got to use my really cool new safety eyes that look like uh, like animals. So, and then next, another Amigurumi. <laughs> I always make a lot of Amigurumis. I did the mini red gamer friend, which is Mario. <laughs> uh, again, I used an e-hook, a 3.5 millimeter, and I used a bunch of scrap yarns for that. And the designer is Mary Smith. Uh, that's a free pattern, too. So, woohoo. Then, let's see here. Next, I made a set of hats and ear warmer for me in June for this coming winter. Uh, so I made the baby bear hat by Okie Girl Blingin' Things. <laughs> I used a H hook, which is five millimeter. And I used, I love this yarn, Blossomopolis, which is a number four worsted. Uh, and then I also made myself a bear ear warmer. And I used an eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter in the same yarn. I love this yarn, Blossomopolis. I did not use a pattern for that. I just made it fit my head. And then I did use the ears from the baby hat. And they just came up bigger because I made it with a bigger hook. Turn my page. <laughs> and then... I made the Flip It Doll Bonnet Baby by Valerie Phillips, which uh, she is, oh uh, gosh, Cuddly Cat Crochet and Sewing <laughs> um, is her YouTube channel, and her uh, she has a Etsy shop, which I'll link below. Uh, I used a G hook, which is 4 millimeter, and I used scrap yarns for that. Um, shoot, someone told me the name of that yarn, and I looked it up, and it was it. I can't remember if it was Easter Bass. I mean, it's Easter Basket is the name of it, but I can't remember if it's Red Heart or something else. I think it was Red Heart Easter Basket. What's the color, right? <laughs> and then I also used, um, I believe, I love this yarn a lot, Peach, for the skin color. And that was a really fun make. That is a pay for pattern, but it's an awesome pattern. And she's since put out a boy version of it, so it's nice. Then another Emma Groomy. The Mini Green Gamer Friend, which is Luigi. 
also been made by Mary Smith and it's also a free pattern. I used a E hook, which is a 3.5 millimeter, and I used Red Heart, Red Heart Super Saver scraps <laughs> for everything. Um, except the green is a uh, paint box scrap. I did make him taller than the pattern is written because Luigi's taller than Mario. So I added two rows to his legs to make his pants, um, you know, to make his legs taller. I added four rows to his body to make his body taller. And then I added, um, I think three rows to the arms to make his arms louder. I mean longer. <laughs> I can't think. All right, two, uh, four more. So then I made the jellyfish by Yarn Hild. And I used a G5 or 4.5 millimeter hook because there's two G hooks, which is confusing, but whatever. Uh, I used I love this yarn flapper girl for that, and that was a really fun pattern. It's made like a rag doll, I liked it a lot. And then I made the Lakeside Beanie by Five Knots North out of that same yarn flapper girl because I was trying to use up that ball of yarn. I used a H hook, five millimeter, <laughs> and I didn't change anything with that. I really like that hat a lot, I'll probably make that a lot in the future. And two more. <laughs> the last two projects were amigurumis. I made Mr. Potato Head keychain, but I didn't make him a keychain. He's just a little amigurumi. And it was by Natalina Craft, free pattern. I used an elf hook, which is 3.75 millimeter, and I used scrap yarns. <laughs> I have a lot of scrap yarns. I like that a lot. I made that for a national um, holiday crochet, and it's just a cute pattern. <laughs> and then the last thing I finished in March was my peanut butter and jelly amigurumis, and that was a free pattern by olive of stringy ding ding and um actually now that i'm looking at this i did that on april 1st so that doesn't count that'll count for next month i'll have to write that on there so just forget i said that <laughs> but yeah so i finished 11 projects in march and i have two carryover projects one from january or february still which is my shrug i'm still trucking away on it but i um i haven't had time lately to crochet i haven't crocheted since i think wednesday last week and then I did start a new whip for Wednesday, which was my strawberry bucket hat. Uh, I haven't worked on that at all either because I haven't crocheted since Wednesday. So I do still have two uh, whips going on. And it's it's the shrug, which is the stonewash shrug by Making New Crew. And then the strawberry bucket hat by um, Sophie Paradis Art. So that's my two active whips right now, even though they're not active because I haven't worked on them in a few days. But I do plan on working on them. So that's my March finishes. I kind of read through that bit because I got to go cook dinner. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm hoping to things will perk back up in eight, this month, April. It's already the 10th, though, so that I'm recording this. You'll see this on the 11th. Um, so who knows? <laughs> but I do have ball bands. So I have this month, I have one, two, three, four, five, six ball bands. So I have the Premier Serenity Chunky that I made the Brontosaurus with. This is Red Heart Super Saver Zebra, which went into my shrug that's still not done. <laughs> and then I have, and I love this yarn, Flapper Girl. That's what I made the Lakeside Beanie with and the Jellyfish. Then I have another, I love this yarn, Blossomopolis. Is that right? Yeah, this is the one for the, the bear hat, the baby bear hat, and the ear warmers. And then I have two of the Just Yarn uh, by Premier. And it is the light pink and the, uh, I just I said it a minute ago, soft gold from uh, the gift bag, project bag thing. So I got some ball bands to add to my bag to have like a tally at the end of the year, just because it's fun. <laughs> and I'm slowly working my way through my stash, which is one of my goals this year. That's why I started Stitch Your Stash, because I'm trying to get rid of all these like random one skeins I have a lot of, especially like variegated yarns. And I want to use them up so that I can buy yarn that I want to make bigger projects with because there's a few blanket projects that I want to make but I have to buy yarn for that so I'm trying to use up yarn first before I do that <laughs> but yeah so that is all I did in March pretty much crafty wise crochet wise <laughs> so I'm looking forward to doing some more stuff in April the only thing I've made so far in April was that peanut butter and jelly thing because <laughs> I'm still working on my shrug and I'm still working on that hat um I already have yarn picked out for my next stitch your sash but I want to get done with my shrug before I start it because it's another wearable and I don't want to be working on two of those at once <laughs> but yeah so that's everything I went up to in March so yeah I guess that's pretty good I did do I didn't do February because I um I skipped that month because like I said I was busy I only had one ball band for February and it was um red heart <laughs> glow worm 
that was my one ball bin for February. Let's see, my February projects though, let's see what I had. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven as well. <laughs> so that was my groundhog that I made, my ballerina mouse, my mermaid dreams messy bun hat, uh, the owl candy bag, St. Patrick's Day hat that I made, uh, the scraptacular little amigurumi cat, and the decorative egg amigurumi. And then I made the itty bitty bunny bags. That, there was two of those, so 12 finished projects. And actually, this is the month that I made a ton of little amigurumis. So I made 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, actually. <laughs> did I? Maybe I did do February's. I don't remember. <laughs> um, I made the yellow cake. I made the little Ukraine flag. And then I made all of all of it Shingy Ding Ding's little amigurumis. I made the crown, the spider, the mouse, the cat, the dog, the pig, and the little candy. <laughs> and uh, so that's all the stuff I made in February. I didn't make, I have made a lot of stuff so far this year. I do have a running tally on my computer, but I haven't updated it since January. So I need to take this book in there and update that. And then I need to put these ball bands in my ball band bag that I have also on my computer. So that I don't lose it. <laughs> and then I'm going to start doing all that again for April. So I'm going to hop off here. Oh, don't fall and get this edited and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.